Hey guys, this is Justin from LitTube coming at you with another face-to-face -face video. And this week I have a sports update actually. We have some NFL Combine news that is very exciting. Chris Johnson's 40-yard dash record just got broken by John Ross, a wide receiver from the Washington Huskies. Uh, he's 5'11", 188 pounds. Um, his 26 season stats were 81 receptions, 1,150 receiving yards, 17 receiving touchdowns. He also had 102 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown and a kick return touchdown all in the 2016 season. So that combines for 19 total touchdowns and over uh, 1,100 all-purpose yards. Um, so that's a pretty amazing season for a receiver. Granted, um, before that in his college career, he didn't do a whole lot. Um, that was by far his best season, the 2016 season. Um, some of his other metrics, uh, he has a college dominator of a 34.1%. And for those of you that don't know what the college dominator metric means, uh, that's for players who basically measures the percentage of receipt of uh, yards and touchdowns they got for their team uh, measured across all other, all other players. So he accounted for 34.1% of his team's uh, production for yards and touchdowns. Uh, that's 62nd percentile for wide receivers at the college level. His college yards per reception, 18, that's 86th percentile for wide receivers at the college level. His breakout age, which is the age at which uh, a player gets um, at least a college dominator of 20% plus, uh, he achieved that at 19.8 years old, which is 69th percentile. And now we have a metric on John Ross's 40-yard dash time, which was a 4-2-2, breaking Chris Johnson's previous record for the 40-yard uh, the dash at the NFL Combine, and that is now 100th percentile, John Ross's 40-yard dash score. So now we have to wait for you know, the metrics on all the receivers to come out, you know, the combine's not over. We don't know where these guys are going to get drafted. Um, but just looking at John Ross's college production, you know, looking at his 40-yard dash time that we now have, I can confidently tell you that this receiver um, has the profile of a Deshaun Jackson kind of receiver. He may even end up being better than Deshaun Jackson at the NFL level because, Again, his 40 time is better than Deshaun Jackson's now. <laughs> and you look at the fact that with a, um, a college yards per reception of 18, 86 percentile, I mean, that's so he's profiling as a burner, a speed receiver that can get down the field, stretch the field. Um, he also he didn't do much in the way of punt returning at college, um, but he did do pretty well on kick returns. Um, so he's a threat in the return game and also as a speed receiver getting down the field and, and, you know, getting good production. So I think, you know, like with most receivers, you know, he may take some time to adjust to the NFL level. You know, there's very few receivers that come in their rookie year and dominate in the NFL. I don't think John, Ro John Ross is going to be one of those guys. He's not going to be a Randy Moss, you know, or anything like that, but he can come in and within a couple years be right at that same skill level as a young Deshaun Jackson in the NFL. So because of that, um, I have to say, you know, John Ross could very well be a top five receiver and definitely a great fit for any vertical offense that's looking to get a burner on their team. Um, so this is a guy, I mean, again, he's not my favorite receiver in this draft. You know, I think Corey, Corey Davis, Mike Williams are definitely way better prospects I think that um, Juju Smith-Schuster makes a case for being a better prospect and maybe one or two other guys. But I definitely think that John Ross, if what you're looking for is a Deshaun Jackson kind of player, um, you can expect to get that out of him at the NFL level. Um, and the fact that his 40 time is the best on record now for the NFL Combine, you can have some confidence in that metric. Um, but yeah, the, this is the big news today is that he broke Chris Johnson's 40 yard dash record at the combine. And I got to tell you folks, really exciting to see, uh, records get broken at whether it's at the combine or in an NFL game. It's always exciting to hear that news. So just reporting that news to you, um, and make sure to check out on NFL draft day where this guy ends up. It's going to be really interesting. I think he could be a second or third round selection in the draft, but who knows? Maybe this uh, break in the record for his 40 time pushes him to the first round. It's entirely possible, but we'll see. Anyways, 
Make sure to subscribe so you can keep getting updates like this on sports news, on other types of news. And uh, I'll talk to you next week with another face-to-face -face video. Thanks, guys.